When you look at what the Gallardi Trophy is all about, and uh, you know, it's, it's special for us here at St. John's because it's named after John, who was here for 60 years, and, and, and we all know the kind of person he was and, and how he treated people and what he was looking for in a player. And I think Sam epitomizes exactly what the Gallardi Trophy is all about. He's a better person than he is a football player, and that says a lot. He's the perfect guy to have for the team because I think the linemen just respect the heck out of him. Uh, he makes them look good, and of course the line make him look good as well. So it's, it's great mutual respect. Um, I've grown up with Sam in South St. Paul. I've known him since we were playing flag football together in, I think, first grade. Been roommates for four years now, and haven't killed each other yet, so it's, it's been really fun. You know, he's the type of person who never took any credit for himself, and you know, reporters would always ask him after the game, you know, what did you do today that was able to make the difference? And he would always give credit to the offensive linemen and everyone else, and it was never about him. And I think that's what really made him special, is that he was never took any credit for himself. It's one thing to have a great player, you know, who knows he's great and kind of has a big head about him. Sam was not that way at all. Uh, you know, he never once mentioned, you know, that rushing record. I mean, that made us want to get it even more, you know, just because he was so humble and never said a word about it. So I think we really took that upon ourselves as a team and the offensive line to uh, get him that record. You know, he's obviously such a huge part of this program for the last four years. He's obviously one of the most talented players we ever had come through St. John's, and, you know, his accolades and his stats kind of speak for themselves. Very quiet guy on the field, very, very quiet, um, just goes about his business. Um, there's really nobody better than him. He, a uh, great teammate, you know, he works really hard in the off season and, you know, at practice. And he's just one of those teammates that, you know, you really hope you have when you, when you come to college and, you know, he gets along with everybody and, you know, he's just a great teammate to have. Sometimes just sitting on the sidelines, we'll be with the defensive guys, we'll kind of look at each other like, how did he do that? And I think most people, if you talk to Sam outside of, football would never know that he is, you know, the star football player. He, you know, kind of keeps to himself and will never talk about football unless it gets brought up to him. He'd rather talk about, you know, video games and stuff like that. And He's, he's goofier than people, people may realize. He, he really likes video games. He's not the type of guy that you'd think would be an All-American running back. You know, he's very down to earth, very humble kid. Sam really loves football, but he, he doesn't want him to define him. And that was a big thing for him. I think he didn't want football to be his life. When we look at this, this group of seniors, uh, they were the last to, uh, to play for John. And um, you know that's a pretty special thing to be playing for a, a Hall of Fame coach. Those guys are really important because they were the ones that, uh, you know, uh, not only were they part of John's regime, but then you know, to come back and, and be part of my first team. Uh, they've really been the guys who've been maybe the backbone of what we've done here the last three years. Uh, Sam really epitomizes what this award's all about. And, and I know my dad, uh, you know, Sam had a chance to play for him for a year. And uh, I know my dad's tremendously proud of him and everything he's done. It is a great honor to have someone like Sam uh, represent uh, St. John's football and, and John Gillardi in this award.